It'll probably wind up in court. If we can't get no answers, no satisfaction, then we'll just take it to court. Well, there were no answers forthcoming because the city manager, Bert Cooper-Smith, didn't have any to give. There were a lot of questions directed at him by a group of people who felt they were done a grave injustice by the city 27 years ago. We haven't had one answer since you sat there. You were protesting what the city of Halifax did with the residents of Africa. They cheated us, and I'm, I'm one that was cheated. Uh -huh. they make us feel that we have to knuckle to you? Yeah. Like we're dogs? Yeah. We didn't have to move into the city to have beautiful homes. We had beautiful homes in Africa. Yeah. And you were sitting, yeah. you were sitting at your table with your lace tablecloths and your silverware. Yeah. We had the same thing in ours. Uh -huh. right. Right. That book of Africville with those beautiful flowers is my mother's garden. Yeah. It's right. in Africville. Right. No. You, you decided our fate years ago, and you're trying to decide it today? The people here not only want compensation for the 27 years they were forced to leave their homes and for the most part end up in government housing, but also for 15 years they were forced to live beside a dump that the city put next to them. They set a precedent already by paying Sackle five million. Besides that, each resident who was within a certain distance of Sackle, of the dump, is going to also receive compensation. So you're telling us that we can't get it? But once again, the city manager had no response. How soon can the people here expect, uh, expect to hear from you? Thank you very much. In what was a passionate and emotion-packed meeting, the former residents of Africville came looking for some answers and some type of proposal. Unfortunately, the city manager had nothing to offer. At times, it looked like some of these issues were foreign to him. But the people here are committed to getting some answers and some type of compensation for the land that was taken from them 27 years ago. Paul Riley, CBC News, Halifax.